Andrew, do you have any good examples or techniques for getting younger kids to learn how to act focus, even just to measure centimeters reliably? Uh, for instance, when I try to measure centimeters from kids, it's hard to know if they're truly understanding the blur chart. It depends on the age, Andrew. Um, games. My favorite thing is games. And if they're already reading, playing license plate games, also very fun for the parent, right? Because you are now also challenged, ideally, with your vision is... Can we read the license plate? How far would can we be away and still read the license plate? Same for street signs, whatever the thing is. When they're smaller, we used to do things like Lego toys have faces on them and they're pretty small. And they have smiley faces, frowny faces, they have all kinds of facial expressions. So uh, if you collect the, their heads right, that you can stick on the things, they have no way to cheat. Is he smiling or is he frowning? And it's just a difference between a line, a smiley line and a frowny line, a game super important with kids that everything again right like with a child psychiatrist i try to figure out like a better child program for myopia till i realized that's that's an impossibility but one of the things i learned is try to plant a seed that makes them want to play the game instead of you know what i mean you you introduce something so tempting and so fun that they're like oh i want to do this and then you stop and let the kid come back to like playing the game so they once they're the ones that are starting the, hey, can we play this? Then you have something going on, right? So it doesn't feel forced on them. It can be like fridge magnets that you get bigger and small letters and make playful eye charts or shapes out of and be like, hey, what's this shape? You get a treat, you get a reward, they compete against you, whatever the thing may be. Active focus will happen by itself. Active focus is, I don't know how the underlying biology implementation that works but everybody has active focus we've lost it when we overcorrect it with glasses we just lose that because we're it's like sitting in a wheelchair forgetting to, to run i've talked to so many people who've got naturally good vision and i've played that game a million times where we'll be in a in a poorly lit starbucks with somebody who never wore glasses and i know that board is challenging to read i'm like hey what does it say and i watch their face right and they'll blink and squint and look at it again and then they read it like Active focus is a thing your kids already have. Creating it is just a game where it's like, what is that license plate across the street, right? And get them to play the game. That's that's my take, and I'm not like a parenting expert, and I hesitate to make recommendations there, but not forcing it on kids. Like some parents are a little more strict than others. Meow, 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 meow. Meow.